<laughs> All right, here we go. It's it's Fade and Jennifer show. West <laughs> West Canada and East Canada. All That's right, right. Fane Grant from BC and Jennifer Foley from Ontario. Awesome. All right, so I'm going to put me back down in the little corner here, and uh, I'll let you reintroduce yourself. Absolutely. No, this is awesome. Uh, my name is Fane Grant. I am a realtor here with Home Life Glen Eyre Realty. Um, Rockstar my Realtor. Is Rockstar Realtor. Realtor.com. <laughs> and uh, I'm here in Abbotsford, BC. So whereabouts is Abbotsford? Yeah, yes. Yeah. So we are putting Abbotsford on the map. Um, <laughs> not everybody knows where Abbotsford is, of course. Um, but uh, it basically, so picture Vancouver and then drive along Highway 1 east in a straight line and you go east about 45 minutes and then here we are. Okay, wow. What's the population there? Yeah, so <laughs> I joke and I say, um, you know, we have two Walmarts now, so we're big enough for two Walmarts and uh, just over 140,000. Well, Walmart def definitely recognizes you big enough for that. Exactly. And, and we know that if Walmart plunks themselves in a small town, well, this is our theory anyways, then it's going to yes. be like someplace up and coming for sure. Yep, absolutely. They definitely see growth. So what's your favorite thing about living in Abbotsford? Um, we can we have really cheap gas in comparison to everybody else around us. <laughs> That's your favorite thing? And well, no, it's not my favorite thing, but, um, it's one of, it's one of the bonuses because everybody says, oh, we're in Abbotsford. Okay. Well, let's go fill up on gas or they'll just try tr like go across the border and go fill up, um, and save a lot of money just going to the, uh, to the south side of the border. Sorry. I just have to click off a little, uh, icon there. Um, but yeah, we're probably about 10 minutes away from the uh, Sunak border. Actually, part of Abbotsford is literally connected with the city or the town of Sunak on the U.S. side. So super close. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to um, talk about what's happening over there in Abbotsford in uh, yeah. relation to the real estate market. So Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about uh, inventory and, and what's happening, like how many months of inventory do you have and what sort of, um, which which types of homes are selling? What are you seeing in there? Absolutely, absolutely. So, um, you know, I'm working with the March numbers. Yeah. Um, it, it is, it has slowed down. So the momentum has definitely slowed down over um, over April. So now that we're May 1st, it'll be really interesting to see what the uh, the April numbers show. Um, but going off of the going off of the March numbers from our real estate board here, um, the detached. So we've got two months two months worth of inventory um, in the single family detached market, and uh, both townhouses and condos were at a month of inventory inventory a month supply. So again, I feel as though um, this is uh, this is was taken in a quicker market, and uh, and yeah, as we see the, the April numbers, we'll see a definite slowdown. So, what are you seeing in terms of um, appreciation, depreciation? What are you seeing year over year? Well, I mean, obviously, since 2016, that's when things started to go a little crazy, for lack of a better description. Um, but basically, prices have gone up exponentially, um, and and the starting case was uh, was in 2016. But um, so even in the last, sorry, in the last 12 months, oh, sorry, I was just gonna, I was just going to ask you thing. Um, so yeah. when you say 2016, things went a little crazy. What what were you seeing back in 2016? All of a sudden, overnight, the momentum just went from A to Z. It um, went from being in, you know, kind of a, a a normal market or a stable market, so to speak, balanced market, and um, very quickly we uh, entered into a seller's market. Um, and all throughout the summertime, I mean, I jo I was joking around because. Typically in the summertime, that's when we all take our vacations, but nobody took a vacation that year. <laughs> that summertime, I mean, you know, we weren't complaining, but we had a busy summer and, uh, you know, we thought it was going to maybe slow down come uh, the fall, but it just, it, prices continued to rise. And we're now, you know, April of April and May of 2018, and it's still, you know, the prices have gone up exponentially. Um, I mean, 
if you want to look at some percentages, really, I mean, you know, our, our average price of a, a single family detached home now is um, 814000 which is up 18.5% versus, you know, this time last year, it was six eighty seven. Right. Wow. So that gives you an idea. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we're looking at the townhouse market, um, it's gone up almost 30%. So our benchmark average is 383 versus 297 last year. Yeah. And um, all the condo owners are happy people right now. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a large percentage, right? To go up over a year. Absolutely. Well, in the condo, the apartment style condo, they've gone up 47.8%. Um, so the average now is 336 and last year it was 226. So I mean, it's uh, versus the year before that was 164. Wow. So I mean, it's gone up a massive amount. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. <laughs> wow. And um, do you yeah. think, like, so back in 2016, when the market was really fast paced out in BC, um, yeah. was that a lot of foreign buyer money or was that local money or, or what kind of buyers were you having then? That's a really good question. Um, so how the foreign buyers tax works is that that was actually only implemented in the greater Vancouver area, um, whereas Abbotsford, the, the cross, so you have two cities, right? So picture this is being Abbotsford, this is being Langley, which is one city west of Abbotsford. Yeah. The, cut, the cutoff like line was right at the end of Langley. So here in Abbotsford, we didn't actually, we still don't have the foreign buyers tax not applicable here in Abbotsford and really? in the other city that I work, which is Chilliwack. Yeah, yeah. So um, a lot, but Vancouver and the Greater Vancouver area, yeah, there was a lot, a lot of foreign money that was coming in. So um, you know, the the single family detached properties, you know, those are the ones that were selling in multiple, multiple, multiple offers. And uh, at that time, I mean, funny enough, the um, the condos were quite quiet, and same with the townhouses. But now, since the prices have gone to like an unreachable amount, um, you know, everybody that wanted to originally go into a uh, single family detached, uh, they're now going into the townhouses, and the people that wanted townhouses, they're now going into condos. And unfortunately, uh, there's a lot of first time home buyers there that can't even, you know, they've been priced out of the market, they can't even. Um, afford a condo now so the rental, the rental market you and I were talking about um, it's a good opportunity though for those people that um, have gotten themselves into townhomes or condos that are looking to upsize yep. because they bought in the last couple of years um, that it's a great opportunity for them to get into um, a larger home because those prices have not um, appreciated the same way as townhouses and um, condos because those are more your entry level homes right absolutely absolutely anybody that bought in the 150s a couple of years ago they can now sell for the 330s 340s and uh and then yeah now they can move up to, to i mean they're they're happy they can move up to a townhouse or a single family detached i mean it's yeah it's a really good good opportunity for them for sure excellent so benchmark yeah. prices what are we looking at for detached homes in your area 814 814,000. 814, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's for a detached two story or detached bungalow or detached? Single family detached. The way our board looks at it is that it, uh, it just comes all into one. So it's okay. they, yeah, they just look at it as a single family detached home. All right. um, so yeah, 814 again up 18.5%. I mean, it's just, it's, yeah, I mean, these these used to be city prices, and now we're seeing them here in Abbotsford, and it's just, you know, people still can't really believe it. <laughs> Anybody that, um, you know, hasn't looked at what, what's happening in the market over the past couple of years, they still have a hard time digesting the prices that are, you know, I mean, it used to be that Abbotsford and Chilliwack were, you know, the, the more... Um, you know, economical places to to live, so to speak, and uh, and then yeah, I mean, the people are looking at the prices now, and oh, it's not worth that. Well, it is actually. <laughs> and you know, and the funny thing is, is like you know, um, a few years from now, it's gonna all look cheap again. I know. You know, I those do. prices will look like wow, like we do now, right? We look back three years ago and we go, and and exactly what you said, like how did it get to this? But you know, we look. To the future and we're going to be looking back at today's prices and saying the same thing like wow that seemed like a bargain yep 
You Absolutely. know, because they're yeah. not making any more land. So the price of real estate is just going up and up and up. And I always tell my clients, it's the best way to accumulate wealth, really. I mean, you got to live in your house Absolutely. at the same time. So, you know, why not put that money, you know, build it up there. A hundred percent. And one thing I should also mention about, um, you know, just the, the land terrain here in the Fraser Valley, um, there's still a lot of green space. There's still a lot of room for development. Um, so it's not like being in the greater Vancouver area where there's no space to expand. You have to go up. Yeah. That's not the case here. We have tons of green space. Um, you know, so there's definitely a lot of subdivision taking, like a lot of, um, you know, um, subdividing and uh, you know a lot of new subdivisions that are being you know built and planned out so I mean we're gonna see some pretty massive changes over the next couple of years here in uh, in the Fraser Valley and yeah. you know we've, we've all kind of got mixed feelings about that I know that some people really like the great space here this is you know this is why they moved to the valley yeah. but um, but you know it's 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 the way it's going and it's, it's what's happening. So, I mean, it's one of those things where you can't deny it. You can't fight it. It's just, uh, you know, it's expansion, it's growth. And I mean, it's, at the end of the day, it's good, right? Yeah. 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 All right. Well, it's been great talking with you and thanks so much yeah. for sharing all that great information about Abbotsford. And Absolutely. Uh, we're going to connect again next week on Wednesday. And, uh, you know, we'll be talking about what's happening here in my area in Durham region. And uh, yeah, we'll we'll get some market stats for uh, for Durham region in Ontario here. Awesome. Awesome. Right. Nope, great. OK, so we'll chat with yeah. you next week. Absolutely. Okay. Thanks, you guys. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye.